How do you add large numbers together efficiently? When I'm adding 254,876 plus 23,087, should I use partial sums? Should I use a number line? In this lesson, you will learn how to add multi-digit whole numbers by using the standard addition algorithm. Okay, so how do you solve 254,876 plus 23,087 using the standard algorithm? Well, there's two steps. First, I need to line up the numbers. I need to make sure that when I stack them on top of each other, I've got the correct place values lined up. And secondly, I need to add the common place values together. Okay, let's look at step number one. So as I line up 254,876, underneath I put 23,087. But I see a problem. My six in my ones place in my top number, there's nothing below it. And that doesn't make any sense because I know I have a ones place in my bottom number. So let's try that again. Over here on the right, I've tried it again. Well, now I have my six in my ones place lined up on top of the seven in my other number. So the number on the left, I have not added the I have not lined those up correctly. I line them up based on the largest place value, which is not correct because my second number doesn't have anything in the hundred thousands place. It just has a two in the ten thousands place. So when you are lining up your numbers, make sure to line them up on the right hand side where the ones place is and also make sure that your commas line up on top of each other. So we're going to use that one on the right hand side. Okay, so we're going to solve this addition problem by adding the common place values together and we're going to use a place value chart to help us visualize what's actually happening when we're adding these numbers together. So 254,876 plus 23,087. So when I start with my very first number, I have six ones plus seven ones. Well, I'm going to make a group of ten out of those ones, which means I am going to regroup that group of 10 into my tens place. And you noticed I put that one to represent that one group of 10 above the seven in the tens place. Well, now that that one group of 10 has been regrouped and moved, I just now have three ones left, so I'll put those down. Now when I add the tens place together, I have one group of 10, seven groups of 10, and eight groups of 10. So I'm going to put that one group of 10 and the seven groups of 10 together. So there's eight groups of 10 and then eight more groups of 10 to represent my bottom number. Well, I can make another group of 10 groups of 10, which would be a hundred. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to regroup it and put it above the hundreds place. So I've just regrouped that and added it, added a one to represent that group of a hundred above the hundreds place. Now, in my tens place, I have six groups of 10 left over, which is worth 60. In my hundreds place, I have eight groups of 100 and one group of 100, which would be 900. In my thousands place, I have 4,000 plus 3,000, which is 7,000. In my ten thousands place, I have 50,000 and 20,000, which is 70,000. And finally, in my hundred thousands place, I have two groups of a hundred thousand, which is worth two hundred thousand. So my answer is two hundred seventy-seven thousand nine hundred sixty-three. In this lesson, you have learned how to add multi-digit whole numbers by using the standard addition algorithm.